Good morning to Miss Cha and all my fellow classmates. My name is Yenling and these are my group members. She is Eunice, Jocelyn, Nicholas and Jared. So today we're going to present about triple bottom line. So what is triple bottom line? Based on the journal, triple bottom line is developed by John Alkington in 1994 and it is a method for measuring sustainability. The triple bottom line aims to measure environmental, financial and social of performance of the company. The three main focus of triple bottom line are people, planet and profit. People refer to employees, labor involved in corporation, groups and wider community, whereas, whereas the organization doing business. Uh, the triple bottom line company pay fair wages to ensure working to ensure working condition at supplier factories. So the second focus are planet. Planet which indicate that organization try to reduce ecological footprint as much as possible. This includes this includes the improving logistics, investing in renewable energy as well as also reducing waste. The last focus of triple bottom line are the profit, which refer to the organization maintaining the economic systems. This framework has advanced the goal of sustainability, which means the company look beyond profit to include the environmental and social issue of the companies. Company look beyond profit to include social and environmental issue to measure the cost of doing business. Triple bottom line used used by business non-profit organization and also government to evaluate their performance. So the triple bottom line and the core value of sustainability. The core value of sustainability to measure the business and the non-profit organization use have adopted the triple bottom line to non-profit organization use the triple bottom line to to measure the sustainability of the organization as the company recognized that As the company recognized that, as the company recognized that partnering and collaborating with the non-profit organization can can maintain the sustainability of the business. Lastly, government entities such as locals and governments implement triple bottom line to to measure the performance such as decision making and also monitoring performance. So now I would like to pass it to Eunice to talk about her class. Uh, very good morning to Miss Chong and all my fellow classmates. I'm Eunice and today I would like to talk about the triple bottom line observation in the workplace. Triple bottom line factors in a company's financial health or profit but also measuring the impacts of the people and planets. It's actually considered by some to be a work uh, authority on corporate responsibility and sustainable development. Therefore, we have found that triple bottom line can be used to measure how the company's business practices is impact on people. For example, from the farmers supplying the raw materials to the office and assembly line work, or to the CEO of the companies, to the consumers, or even the members of the community. One of the companies that we have done the research and observation is Starbucks companies. This company has its own farms and supply the raw materials, which is coffee bean to its company. And second, triple bottom line is also can used to assess the entire life cycle of business processes and determine how each component of the business affect the environment. Thirdly, triple bottom line can also identify the risks and opportunities which that is 
uh, that might not be appearance on the profits only perspective, but also on the environmental and social responsibility that are perspective. And next is the company who is apply the triple bottom line concept will increase their productivity and save costs by reducing waste and utilize their sustainable operations. Lastly, company will have the positive reputation and is associated with pursuing the CSR initiative and it is an improvement with the organizations in the public eye. This can have a range of positive effects uh, for the customers. According to Forbes, approximately 70% of customers would like to spend more money on brands that support to uh, that support the cost they uh, care about. As a result, savvy businesses will likely adopt the triple bottom line frameworks towards more sustainable practices. Next, I'd like to talk about the primary research, which is the survey questionnaires. Basically, we have selected three companies, which is Starbucks, Google, and AAsia. So, and we uh, given out these questions to them and get the uh, feedback from them. As you can see, based on the result, we have selected the most important questions, which is related to how triple bottom line affects the companies. So, the first question is, what are the reasons for your company to get involved in the triple bottom line concept? We have also given the uh, option, uh, several options for them to choose. First one is increase in revenue, attract the new customers, attract new uh, shareholders, and also increase awareness in environmental issues. Based on the survey results, the highest percentage is 33.33 percentage, which means most of the respondents are choosing attract new shareholders and increase awareness in environmental issues as their reason to get involved in triple bottom line concept. Next, the questions will be the reasons why company engaging social and environmental bottom lines. So there's an equal percentage, which is 33.33 percent, which means the respondents were choosing uh, invest in people and community and help to protect the environmental through the company's finances and also build a sustainable workforce and lastly develop the triple bottom line into industry practice. That's all for my part. I'd like to pass to Jesse. So next question we ask about is which of the following areas are the most impacted in your company? There are three selected issues uh, which is equitability, sustainability and viability. But based on the result, we can see that there is a high per percentage in sustainability and the rest students' equitability. A triple bottom line approach can actually use to evaluate the business performance of the organizations. Uh, on the result, we can see most of the respondents have chosen sustainability because sustainability development uh, operation is actually the major responsible for the practitioner uh, in the organizations. Well, when the, when the employees tend to implement this triple bottom line into the organization, it actually can increase the intention uh, for in the social aspect in the economic aspects and the environmental aspects. Well, furthermore, the equitability actually shows the impact on social factors. Uh, for an individual, when they came into the working environment, they tend to seek for the job they are more favorable and they have their own concern and perspective into the job. Therefore, when the company has the policy of equal gender, uh, no child workforce, or compensation for the OT workers and also the medical insurance can actually attract more potential workers to the organizations. It also can help to uh, achieve the company goals. So the next question is, uh, do you agree that your company's performance is better than the other company that does not adopting triple bottom line? Uh, triple bottom line. Uh, based on the respondents, they are 100% of agreement in this statement, but there's a level of uh, agreement that 33.3% said that they are strongly agree, and the rest are just agree uh, with this statement. So next, uh, uh, next I'll pass it to, I'll pass to continue. Good morning to Mr. and my fellow classmates. Yeah, 
I'm gonna tell, uh, I'm gonna speak about how the triple line actually boosts the organization to achieve their objective. But first, we need to know uh, what is the organization objective, and how does the triple line, triple bottom line, actually help them to move forward. Uh, for the objective of Air Asia, as we all know, they are the one of the largest uh, airline companies in Malaysia. So, for their first objective, they had was to show they have a low, lowest cost of a uh, lowest cost in the airline organization throughout Malaysia. And the second is they have to their their objective is to produce a product quality which is better than any other airlines and show the cost of their product is much more lower. So, much more lower the organization products and their cost, they have to engage in their objective as to lower down their cost. And as for Starbucks, their objective is to increase the quality of their product, their, especially their coffee beans, their other coffee related products, and also increase their customer service to a higher potential compared to other organizations that which is a similar doing a similar uh, service to the uh, people. And for Google their objective is to enhancing their search service compared to other search engines throughout the internet and also eliminating low quality content. So for uh, how Triple Portal Line actually boosts their Object, boost the organization to achieve their objective. First, uh, in Asia, they are concerned about the environment, which is why they want to reduce the pollution, their, their, their services that actually spread throughout the environment, such as uh, uh, their company has uh, produced multiple planes with high fuel efficiency. And they're hoping to, because of airplanes, they have a high rate of carbon emissions towards the environment. So, uh, because of the carbon emission, Asia actually made it as their top priority objective to achieve and ensure the environment is much more healthier, cleaner towards the people. And uh, for Google, they have a uh, there's multiple search engine in the in online services for people. Some people they can uh, might want to search for particular information, but other search engine might produce a different result, as the people might not uh, able to find what they are truly looking for. So they make it as a point to enhance their search engines, their algorithms to ensure people are able to find what they are looking for. And also, they're doing their best as a top search engine to eliminate any other lower quality content which is completely unrelated to the topic the people are searching to enhance their profitability and enhance more people, attract more people to use their search engines. So for Starbucks, they, they are one of the biggest uh, coffee makers in the world. So if they, they want to increase their quality of their product to attract more people and also ensure the environment, the product are environmental friendly, that's why they make it as a objective to improve their products. And so for their customer service, in Triple Point Online, uh, there's a one uh, objective is a profit. So uh, Starbucks uses the Triple Point Online where they want, if once they want the profit, but then how to do it? They make it as objective to improve their customer service, to ensure the customer, customer loyalty will always, their loyalties, and ensure they will come back next time they want to purchase another cup of coffee. Thanks. So, how did the triple one actually help the, the achieve the objective? As I said before, in Asia, they want to achieve the lower cost Lower cost, uh, air, air lowest cost air, airline services in Malaysia, and also as the most environmental friendly. First, they actually achieve invest in research to invest in the fuel efficiency, which boosts them uh, to ensure in align with their objective in triple bottom line, which is to be, 
be more environmental friendly organization while achieving lower costs. By having a better fuel efficiency, they reduce the cost of services and products, which allow them to reduce their cost, which is one of the objective. And then they have uh, invent, invest in technologies such as uh, how to reduce the carbon emission by the plane produce. I, they have conducted few uh, research and development, and they have come up with uh, new prototypes engines, which are in service. There are hundreds of the engines are in service in their airline currently, which are reducing the carbon emission that is produced by the plane by thirty percent towards the environment. And next will be the Google, the Google. To ensure their search engines are high, to enhance their search engine quality, Google uh, to search engine quality to the people. Google import import uh, plans to improve their system algorithms that helps the people that helps people con that using their search engine to find what they are looking for, they much more faster and more precision. Then after that, they make an initiative for any of the website that are giving a be the best results and the quality answer for the people who are using their products. Products. Uh, they give the reward initiative for them to motivate the website to improve their content and shows that other website their content is uh, much more inefficient and it's not a uh, good quality. It slowly eliminate the competition in the websites. Then as for Starbucks, because of uh, they want to improve the quality of product and at the same time ensure the environment, their products are environmental friendly. So they invest in the technology innovation, which they con uh, in technology innovation, they have come up ways and improved the technology. You show when they harvest their coffee bean, it reduces the environment, environment pollutions, ensure the environments are remaining in top condition for the next harvest throughout the year. The technology innovation actually helps the farmers to harvest their coffee beans more efficiently and faster without ru ruining the environment. Then they also have uh, to improve their customer service in the crypto corner line to attract more people. They have uh, the employee innovative where they have trained their employees to be better at servicing and they are equipped to serve the customer with the best possible way. Next, I will be passing. Uh, next, will be the issue of the uh, when they implement the triple border line. So, for A Asia, the um, the issue when they are trying to implement this triple border line, they have, they face will be balancing between the low cost fare and the increase in the market competitions. Because as other airlines, they also tend to try to reduce their uh, cost of uh, airlines. However, as for Asia, they tends to focus on uh, more to towards the environment friendly, which is one of their principles in the triple bottom line. And also, because another issue they will be facing in the market is because of the trends of the fuel price per barrel are strong, uh, are very unstable. Because of the price, they tend to rise and fall throughout the years, depends on the volatility. Next, for Google, there is a problem with their search engine because of the click frauds. Maybe some website they are creating advertisement, but then some other competitors will come and randomly get, keep on clicking and co causing a fake statistic support. As for Starbucks, as technology is also their limitation because technology sometimes, uh, as for online services, they might push other 
uh, customer away because uh, customer tends to like to walk in better than the online services benefit promotions. Next, I'd like to pass to Gerard for the uh, recommendations. sessions and task dedications for each members. After that, we have uh, identified and decide which drawing to choose. We have used uh, two weeks to choose uh, the theory. And then after that, uh, we have a, take a long time on research of triple quantum line and we gather together uh, every week to share the information. After the information is gathered, we started to draft our survey questions. Uh, we actually have been drafting our survey question for several times and after our lecture is approved the survey question we distributed to the uh, company selected. And then after we get the result of the survey questions, uh, we tend to prepare our slides and now I'll pass it to Jared to continue the recommendation part. Thank you. Okay, now I'd like to talk about the recommendations of these three organizations which are AirAsia, Starbucks and Google. As you know, AirAsia is planning on reducing their cost via investment in technology as in the 21st century, technology plays a huge advantage for companies whether they are big or small. Therefore, AirAsia can use the technology to elevate the travel ecosystem in, in areas by using digital technology in areas such as travel and lifestyle, logistics and finance. This is because AirAsia needs to create a balance between their low cost fares and the implement and the increasing trend of fuel prices. Next, I would like to talk about Starbucks. The recommendations for Starbucks is to eliminate the bottlenecks by opening a mobile order and pay store. This is because many, many customers are tend to leave Starbucks because of their mobile apps. Therefore, Starbucks can open a mobile app store which only caters to the mobile app users and they are not able to cater for the non-mobile app users. Moreover, another recommendation is by training baristas to be equipped for the mobile app orders. This is because users can place their orders through the mobile app and they can proceed to the stores to collect their, their orders. Starbucks is able to, to use this recommendation to eliminate the limitation of technology which exists within the company. Last but not least, Google for Google, they can reduce the amount of click fraud by enhancing its Google Ads traffic quality. This is because nowadays, advertisement has become an annoyance to many people and many people tend to misclick the advertisement which will lead to scams and frauds. And last but not least, the next recommendation is to limit the exposure of ads to maintain a healthy and sustainable digital advertising ecosystem. In other words, Google can limit the number of advertisements that will be displayed to the users. That will be all for my presentation. Thank you. Exposure of advertising affect Google's triple bottom line. The 
the number of advertising that affects Google's triple bottom line is because larger firms tend to be more exposed to political attacks, which will affect your triple bottom line. The reason why company engaged in social and environmental concerns. Okay. Now, where did you get this particular reason from? Is it from your article? Are there actually companies who are doing it because of that reason? Now, you got this reason here as, what again, come again, repeat, uniform standards, set uniform standards. Uh -huh. Right, where did you get this pointer from? Which journal did you get it from? Uh, there is a lot of journals, I think, maybe some of the paragraph of the journal. Okay, so it's existing. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's move to the next one. Okay, you have here equitability, sustainability, liability, mm. right? Mm. Which of the following areas is most impact in your company? All right, what is liability again? Uh, how does the work can be done successfully in, in, by implementing triple bottom line? So the triple bottom line does not impact on that part. Uh, they are not choosing because uh, the company are more uh, concerned in equitability and sustainability. Okay. So how many firms this in this survey that you did, how many people was involved in each company? Two. Each company two. Yes. 